Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world. This is M Crypto Wolf. Welcome back to the channel. I had some people who are getting nervous with the price of Bitcoin and the overall crypto market. So today we are doing a price update. I want to ask to every single one of you if you have more interest to see more updates like this on the price of Bitcoin and where the crypto market potentially is heading, leave a comment and let us know on the channel so that we can know how much videos like this we should start creating. So I will be starting with a weekly update from now on about the price. So every Sunday you can expect that I will take a look at the price and where we are potentially heading. All right, let's get into it. So we are currently on trading view and this is the place where we look at the charts. So we're going to take a look at Bitcoin right here. You can see I have a lot of lines on this. Please just ignore this. This for myself. And I will make sure in the next week to use a clean chart to bring you in from day one. Let's say like this. Because this is from way back that I have all the levels lined up for in the future. If you would go back to these levels to see if my levels were correct, yes or no. And if we find high resistance or support on these levels. And I will be deleting them in the future. But this is now to backtest my own view on the market in the future. And for now, almost all my lines react on price. So what does this mean? This means every line that I draw is a line where price action starts to it starts to it's it's more it's less easy to break through it can be the upside like you see right here it's hard to break through you you see we break it through we have a wick go through it we go down we have one candle go through it and we have the other candle bam go through it another wick Another push as resistance, another push as resistance, then we break through, then down, back up, back up, up. Then we try to come to this line. We didn't touch it. We stayed in the four hour trend line that we have here. So we have basically these two trend lines where we keep ranging in between, as you can see. So we tested it here, we tested it here, we tested it here, we tested it here. We tested it multiple times and almost a slightly bit of it. But we couldn't break this one through it. So as long as we do not break this trend line, this 4-hour trend line that I have drawn, this is exactly around this resistance of $25,500 of Bitcoin. If we cannot break through this, go up and retest this as support and go back up higher towards the levels of 28k and 32k this is a very important zone this one because in my opinion if we break through 31k 832k and we stay above it and we test this as supported i'm starting to feel bullish again in the crypto market and on the all the cryptos that are in the market such as the altcoins so remember, to feel bullish again, we should break out to the upside at least above this trend line and start retesting it as support. What we have to understand is the more time we keep ranging between this, you can see this, we will get higher prices because resistance will become more and more and more. Now we have the resistance. If we would come back up right now, resistance would be around above this resistance that we have now. So we would be at 25,700. That's already $200 higher. The same here, as we can see, the first support of the resistance of the trend line that we had, it was around 18,000. The second one, 18,700. The third one, 19,300. So we are working our way up. Here we had a very nice retest. A lot of people thought here nicely, bought in, and they thought we catch the bottom. But what happened? Rejected again, started ranging. A lot of people thought 
this was the support of a new this was a test of a new support and we would not break this one again but what happened we ranged back up fake we did a fake out that we would break out again rejected again and went down and here we went heavy down so what does it looks like here very simple we again tested this as a support the four hour trend line and as you can see if you would buy from this line you would be already in profit that's the way for the people who trade you have three percent almost four percent so this was really easy money i missed this i'm gonna be honest but if i would be after the charts and i would see this happening and see this line testing also with this trend line i would buy immediately here and just sell out at three four five percent once we see price action gets hard but as we can see now this candle broke the previous one we're now retesting this as a support on the smaller time frame and in my opinion even if we would break this level right here and we would go down lower to the next support of 19,600 in my opinion we should at least go up again to around 22,300 maybe 23,000 and then we can go back lower but just know this we are going a bit sideways in this market for now so there's a high possibility we just keep ranging between these trend lines and we raise our way up to finally have the last drop down that we have the last dump in the market and that could be potentially another 50 percent drop because if we would now test as a support go back up 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 and we test this we have 26,000 around here I'm just calculating something showing you the potential what is possible so if you would take this and go down and look for 50 percent dumb where would we end well very simple we would end at the price of 13,000, and i think that could be the final target of this bear market that we have right now so if we would dump lower i'm looking at 13 to 14k to hold as support and potentially be the generational bottom in crypto i'm saying generational just because it is once in a couple of years that you have a chance like this that we are at the lowest prices like this in the crypto market and for bitcoin price so that's a very 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 good time to get in the market and start buying some bitcoin and cryptos or accumulate your way up until we break this position right here around 28k 32k if we can break this zone and hold this as support i would feel very bullish again in the market but we have to watch out around this zone also if we can hold this and break through it or not otherwise we need to be very carefully but that is for later for now we are here in the market and we are looking at potentially retest 20, 23,200. If you have a hard time to come above it right here and it's hard and we cannot break this to the upside there's a high probability we will go lower if we then break this trend line there's a very high probability we will test this current support of 17,800 18,000 something like that in between so that's what you have to watch for for now so just keep this in mind and keep monitoring this closely normally after a dump like this we will have a little pushback up to set the imbalance and to balance it so we would be at this level so at this level i will be watching the markets closely to see can we break above it or will we reject this as a resistance and come back down to test the trend line and potentially break it to the downside test it back up and then go lower to the support and potentially maybe break the support even and go lower to the prices of 13 to 14k that we are watching that we have in mind that could be a potential bottom of the market like we had in 2018 where we had a bottom of three thousand dollars bitcoin 
A lot of people were saying 6,000 was the bottom then, but then we went lower for another 50% dump. And a 50% dump on Bitcoin means a lot of altcoins will dump another time, minus 90%, minus 90%, and that will cost a lot of people a lot of money. So if you're not worried about that, just stick into the market and prepare yourself with some cash to buy in your favorite cryptos. If you don't want to yourself to be going through that times or you don't want to hold your positions, then it would be smart to potentially start risking off right now. But that's something you have to decide for yourself. I'm not worrying if we are not breaking this trend line. Once we break this, we retest this. I would, I myself, there's a high probability that I will sell a lot of my positions and buy in, in lower prices. So that's what I'm doing right now to anticipate on the market. Let me know in the comments if it was useful, yes or no. Let me know what you would see more. If there's any questions that you have about Bitcoin or the crypto market overall, if you have any questions about the Cosmos Air jobs that I have been providing on the channel, just let me know in the comments and I would like to help you out. For the people that are day trading and more trading on the short term, my Discord will open very soon where we will share a lot of trade IDs and positions that I will be taking. Quick example, if you would push up to here, this could be a very good level to take a short position on Bitcoin. If we cannot break through as resistance. Because we will reject it here and we will come a bit down and you take your profit. You just go in quick and out and you have it. Same here. You could come in quick and out, take a long position. Everything is clear. Here's the price. We see right here that the trend line and the support that I have drawn crosses right here at this point. And right at that point, 20,800, we pushed up. We had a bounce up. And we are now at 20. 21,400. So that's 600, 700 dollars push up that you could take, and you would have this in like less than 10 hours, something like that. Yes, this is four hour candle. So eight hours, bam, and you had three, four percent profit. Put a 10x leverage or whatever you do on it, and you have more profits. That's how easy it goes for the scalpers, for the people who are fast into the market. Now I want to share something else. As you could see right here, I had an other line drawn and I will show you why. If we come at the one hour, we were just at the four hours. Now I'm putting us onto the one hour. You could see this line that I have drawn. It was to see here we had a big dump candle. Before we went up, it was like we would break through and retest it. But we had a massive trap right here. This is a, like a small bull trap. That people think, oh, we're getting bullish again. We have momentum. We will push up to this resistance. But we didn't. And we had a massive dump. On this moment, I'm very confident to take a short. Because I see there is no volume in the market to go up. There is way more volume to go down. So this gives me confidence. Plus, we have this trend line that we touch it. And we just close onto it. We have two small little pumpies that ended with wicks so it shows us again no volume in the market so on this moment i would dare to take a short position and just put my stop loss above right here i would put my stop loss somewhere there if you're a little bit crazy you can put it even higher that's your own thing that you have to determine for yourself i'm not going to give away too much right here on youtube this will be for my private mem members in the discord so make sure to stay tuned for that but as you can see right here, we want to break through. We have a wick. We close again on the trend line. So now we have a little bit of doubt. So we're not going to take the trade immediately. But then after that, we have the other candle that we are ranging in between the same. And then once we break through, we have a wick. We push up again from another trend line that you can see. But then we broke that one. And then we retested here. We wanted to get above. We pushed a little wick and we touched out this. Once we touched out this with the wick, I would be very confident to take the short and I would just take it. That's just my opinion, my view on the market. And as you can see, as we take it from there, I'm not saying I would take it perfectly, but I would take it at least here. So let's say that 
we were here and i would put my take profit honestly right here so we would have a five percent profit but if you would go down fully you had 12 percent. but honestly i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna say stupid shit to promote this channel this is just the honest truth this is what i saw in the market and i would stepped out right here at this price because at this price i'm looking that the price right now where we are now will touch this as resistance and come back lower if it doesn't touch as resistance we will push up touch this as resistance 23k and once we come above this and we can go higher to this i would say we are still going sideways and we will not dump further in the coming days so that's my view on the market for now as you can see we're still in a bearish trend we're still in a bearish market i would still only feel comfortable in this market once we break through above this level once we're into this zone things look very interesting once we come above things look bullish to me and if it will stay bullish that we don't know we will find out by looking at the charts and seeing the facts and just looking at what the charts are telling us and what is possible in the market so for now that was it let me know if you have some questions you know my targets you know the potential lower targets the potential higher targets and you know which thing to keep an eye on the four hour trend line for now in my opinion shows us the best thing to see what the market is doing and we are indeed going sideways for now so that was it make sure to tune in into this channel subscribe if you like the content and you don't miss any opportunities in the crypto market and now a quick overview from my last video that i want to share with everyone we had a last video how you can earn ten dollars of bitcoin in less than five minutes even less than one minute if you're a bit a quick person so please take advantage of this because i have a lot of people asking me the whole time how can i make crypto without investment how can i make money this and that so from now on we will start providing more videos like this on the channel how you can earn yourself some money or crypto without investment the only thing you need to invest is a little bit of your time that is not much so make sure to do this once you have created an account and you have done it and you have earned yourself the ten dollar bitcoin let me know in the comments or send me an message on instagram or twitter that you have done that i will look if i have re i have received also the reward of ten dollars and then i will send you another five dollars worth of that because i want to support everyone onto this channel like you guys are supporting me uh, thank you for everyone every single one of you for subscribing watching the videos and providing your time to this channel now for everyone who doesn't watch this video go watch it right now if you don't have a coinbase account already use one use my link make it don't forget make an account make sure to do all the actions that i showed into the video use this link you will receive 10 dollar bitcoin reward and once you have received that let me know and you can potentially win another five dollars worth of bitcoin and after this video i will be dropping the next video will be another video also with the coinbase account how to earn yourself some extra money up to ten dollars also i earned myself six dollars with this and i will be sharing this as the next video on my channel so make sure to take advantage of this so you are ready for the next one all right and i will see you into the next video take care everyone bye bye